Hello folks, time for another video and the shave and the big old mess up from me. I totally goofed. Well, what I mean by goofed is I haven't shaved yet, but I goofed on getting product for this shave because for a while I wanted to do a Wilkinson sword shave um, because why not, right? It's very affordable gear. So I was going to start off with the Wilkinson sword classic de razor i know it has a little wilkinson sword thing in the front there which you probably can't see but anyway i was going to use the razor and i was sitting on the wilkinson sword finest bristle brush which here's the packaging because i already have it whipped up but it looks like this very basic brush i think it was like six or seven dollars wasn't very expensive i think this is boar hair and not synthetic, but I'm not sure. I went on the website to look, but it doesn't really explain what the hair is. I did a little bit of research, and I think it's boar hair, but it's the finest bristle. And there's the packaging it comes in. I bought this about a year ago, and I've had the razor for a while. So I figured, you know what? I need to get the soap. So I went on a good old Amazon, and I ordered the soap, and there's going to be a lot of pop-ups in this video, so... I'm going to show you what I ordered. Boom. So, as you see there, it's a Wilkinson sword container. But the description says Derby. So, I'm like, duh. I didn't really read it. I saw the picture and I ordered it. So, what came to me was this Derby Premium soap right there. As you see, it, it comes in like a little ice cream container. It's empty now because... I'll tell you in a second. So I thought this was supposed to be a Wilkinson sword. Instead, it was Derby. It was very inexpensive. Um, but there was a crack in the bottom. Right there's a crack. You can see my thumb. And the lid was totally smashed up. Because it's all plastic and chinsy. I mean, what do you expect for a soap that was like, you know, a couple dollars? I've never smelled this soap before. I thought I had some of this Derby in a stick, but I didn't. So my wife was kind enough to give me a little glass container for the soap. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but you'll see it has a Derby logo right there. Interesting scent, let me tell you. Definitely not a scent I would have picked out by smelling it like beforehand. It kind of has that Arco, but with a medicinal scent. Kind of funky. Now what I did was... I took it out and I scraped off the bottom of the puck right there. You can see I scraped some off. And I put it in the Captain's Choice Bowl. And I lathered it up, lathered it up with that Wilkinson Sword brush right there. Came out really nice to lather. Definitely has a medicinal scent. Not like super like medicinal, but has a little bit of medicine-y scent, which I could kind of deal with. Now let's go to the other thing. Razor I already had. The Wilkinson Sword Classic DE. It's plastic. And there's some metal in the handle right there. And it's a uh, twist. Two-piece. And you can see it opens like that. I haven't put a blade in it yet. Because I do have a story about the blade. Now, I did have Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack blades. Apparently, I either misplaced them or used them all. So before I started this adventure, I said, let me order some blades. So I headed over to Amazon. And I said, let me get some Wilkinson Sword Gillette Saloon Pack. I'm going to pop that up too. Boop. And you can scope it out. It says Saloon Pack. I should have read all the comments. Um, now, if, we, if you know this, the Saloon Packs are usually made in India. So I get the package in. It does say... Right there. Made in India. But as I opened it, I shouldn't do this with a sink full of water because I know I'm going to drop something. So I got this nice, you know, 100 blades. But it's not the saloon pack. You see right there. It is just a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Pack. Now, if I take one of the packs out, 
Now these are inexpensive too. I think these were six dollars and maybe seven dollars. If you look at the back of the package, it does say made in China. So I totally I goofed. I didn't read because people were complaining that these weren't saloon packs. But you know what? I'm gonna take one out anyway. Open the tuck. And it looks like your standard, you know, Wilkinson sword deal. Gillette Wilkinson sword. We'll pop it out of the package. Try not to cut the old finger. And it says Gillette, or it says Wilkinson sword stainless actually on the blade. Right there. We will pop that into the razor. Usually I have all this prep beforehand, but I wanted to show you guys what the deal was. What's nice is the blade, there is no overhang on this razor. You can see the blade goes right into the top cap right there, which then will go right into the Razor. Let me just give it the old twist. The little twisty, and there you go. The classic Wilkinson sword. I cut my finger there. You see that? Stupid. All right, so got the sink full of water. Ooh, that's hot. It's a nice sunny day here. Thank God it was raining for the last couple of days. All right, so let's go with the Wilkinson Sword Finest Bristle Brush with the Derby Premium Shaving Soap. The scent kind of reminds me something of... I would smell in my dentist office. Kind of weird. Not a displeasing scent, but... Definitely a medicinal scent. I thought I had a Derby shave stick. I think I do, but I think it's in storage. I can't remember if this is the scent that it has. Now this brush, by the way, this is the first time I'm using it. I did not break it in. I wasn't sure if it was a synthetic since I couldn't find any information on the Wilkinson Sword website. But to me, it smells and feels like a board brush. All right, Wilkinson Sword Classic Razor BE with a Wilkinson Gillette Wilkinson Sword stainless blade, which I thought was supposed to be the saloon pack, but they're not. These were made in China and not India. We'll see how she goes. Feels pretty good. I'm not sure actually how I'm gonna title this video. I think I'm going to title like I normally do with product, but when I post it on Facebook and Instagram, I'm going to say I goofed. I think. Seems very nice so far. I could definitely feel blade in here. You know, like there's blade for sure. I haven't used this razor in a while. Another inexpensive product. Not saying cheap because it doesn't feel like a cheaply made product. It's just inexpensive as far as the price. I believe the razor, <coughs> excuse me, the razor and you get a pack of blades. I believe I paid like seven or eight dollars 
that was over a year ago, so. I did buy all this off of Amazon, so I will leave the links. For all this product down below. And that's the other reason why is you don't put razor blades in my description down below because I used to. And then I get feedback from some of my subscribers that they didn't receive the blades that I posted. So that's why I stopped posting the blades. Because there's so many places you can get them, of course, besides Amazon. I used to buy the Salon Pack Wilkinson Sword Gillettes from uh, eBay, but I saw these on Amazon and they were very inexpensive. Like it says, there were six dollars and change, and I should have known because I was like, that's awfully cheap for 100 blades. I mean, the blade prices have gone up a little bit in the last year. But I should have read because I always go off by the picture and not realizing that maybe the picture is just there for reference. All right, that was actually really nice. Slick, this is pretty good. Like I said, I believe this is the first time I'm using this style derby. Premium. I went through YouTube when I got this in the other day because I ordered this on the, I think, the 6th. And it came in in two days, like usual for Amazon Prime. So when I saw it was the soap, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I went back and I read all the reviews. I said that it's a derby soap. And I should have known because the title said derby. I just saw the picture. That it said Wilkinson sword, but I figured maybe Derby makes the soap for Wilkinson sword. I didn't know. Duh. But anyway. So I ordered it and what happens, happens, right? This is a great little razor for uh, it being under $10. I mean, it's plastic, but they put metal, some sort of metal in the handle portion. It gives us some weight because this thing would probably weigh nothing if it was just all plastic. And there is no overhang as far as the blade's concerned on the outside. I never really worry about that anyway because knock on wood. Oh, look at that. I just caught myself because I never really worry about catching under my nose. I did catch myself right there, though. That's because I was jabbering away. I think I had a little itty bitty scab there, but I wasn't sure. Alrighty. So. That wasn't the razor or the blaze fault. That was mine. <laughs> That's okay. We'll hit that with some alum when we're done. That must be a good one because it's bleeding a little bit there. All right. So I just have a little bit on the jawline. Now that one's, that one's gushing. Wow, I got myself again. Man. I'm careless today. Alrighty. Let's empty good old Sigma the Sea Monster sink. We took a good chunk out over there. That's okay. Alright. Let's do a little cold water rinse. Nice and slick. Now 
grab the Lancaster towel, but I am going to hit myself up with some alum, which I shouldn't have dried off my face, but I haven't used my alum block in a while. I'm going to use the Omega alum stick. And I got myself good there. Alrighty. Just wet the alum stick a little bit. A little stingy sting. And this will take off any slickness you have left, that's for sure. Yeah, my shaves have been nick free for a long while there where I actually had any bleeding. But I am on blood thinner, so if it's deep enough, it will. It will bleed. I'm going to pull out another product that I have. I actually don't have it out. Because like I guess I haven't nicked myself in a while. But usually the alum block will stop it. Just want to make sure I wipe that down. Because if you put your alum block away or stick away, it'll grow some funk. But that was the Omega alum stick. And I'll just rub that alum in for a little bit. Nice. All right. So while that is... Huh, Lancaster towel it's laying down. I didn't hang it back up. That was the Lancaster towel, by the way. All right, let me wipe down my counter. And let me go over the gear I used, even though it wasn't the gear I was planning on using. So, soap-wise, that was Derby Premium Barbershop Shave Soap. Comes in a weird little ice cream container, kind of, you know, wax papery thing the jigger i actually put it in a container thanks to my wife i have it in a nice glass container there interesting scent if you like that medicinal arco scent kind of like what that's going on there and we use the wilkinson sword classic de razor today blade in there was the gillette wilkinson sword basically stainless thought i was getting a saloon pack but instead i got these Seemed to be okay, though. I mean, I did catch myself a little bit right there and right there. But, hey, what you going to do, right? All right. Let me just give a quick little rinse again. Just to take care of the alum. Seemed to uh, kind of stop where I got myself there. Like I said before, I am on blood thinner, so don't be scared out there if you're on blood thinners and you want to shave with like traditional shaving gear like DEs or single edge. Okay, so I don't have a matching scent for this. So I'm gonna use some fine platinum. Got that good old Aqua de Parma scent. Just use a little bit of that. Oh, I love the scent. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the title of the video as, you know, Derby and then put the rest of my gear on it. So, well, yeah, just be careful out there when you order off a, of, like, Amazon or even eBay or whatever. Just make sure you're getting the product that you ordered. I was kind of, kind of the first time I ever been, like, Careless, because I just went by the pictures instead of reading. Very careless on my part. But once again, real quick, that was the Wilkinson Sword brush. The uh, finest bristle. Right there, I saw the package. because I just took it out of the package today. And that was the Derby Premium Barbershop Soap. Boom. And, of course, that was the Wilkinson Sword Classic DE Razor. Oh, yeah, and I whipped it up in the timeless ball. Whoa! Not timeless, sorry. Captain's Choice Ball today. Because it was the perfect size for that brush. Actually, let me show you the... Uh, since we're running long on this video anyway. Let me show you the brush. 
without lather in it. And that's what the bristles look like there. I, I didn't break this in. I took it out of the package today. I did soak it for about a half hour in warm water. So there you have it. All right. So if you enjoyed today's goof up shave with uh, the Derby shave soap, the premium shave soap, and uh, the rest of Wilkinson sword gear, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, <clears throat> thumbs down. Yeah, I totally goofed on ordering this gear. So until next shave. Please subscribe. We always need those subscribers to have a giveaway. And stay safe out there. And until next shave, Glenn signing off.